Why is coding so hard, man? What the fuck is a boolean? Slash def it. TFT has a competitive problem. Every time a set nears its end, there are less and less things to play for. There are no more cups, regionals are over, and after Worlds, the new set gets announced and we get to play on it for about two weeks on the PvE before it finally gets deployed onto live servers and we get to once again climb from the bottom all the way to the top. But this means that from the second cup onwards, a lot of the top players have actually stopped playing TFT altogether. If you didn't qualify for regionals, you're stuck for about a month until the new set finally hits the live servers and you get to grab and ranked again. That is a lot of downtime to just wait around. The problem is, is that for a lot of players, including myself, this competitive drive to want to compete for something is one of the main reasons we play TFT. The dopamine from being able to rank up is what drives a lot of us forward. In fact, we're so competitive that a lot of us actually end up just playing Valorant until the next set drops. There are even memes about how a lot of the top TFT pros will actually just hop onto Valorant once there are no more tournaments to qualify for until the next set drops onto the PBE. Personally, during this lull time, I didn't really know what to do. I I personally don't really enjoy grinding solo queue on Valorant, and I didn't really have any other games that I wanted to put my time into. But then I had a brilliant idea. Wait, wait, wait. when the new set drops out of the PvE, why don't we just have a bunch of top players compete against each other for like a week straight? And then that way the high level players have a competitive incentive to want to play on the PvE? And then because of the competitive incentive, they're gonna find a lot of bugs and issues with the set before it even drops onto live. And then that way it'll help the devs with all the data. And while they have the most freedom to fix everything, the game can be as balanced as possible before the set drops onto the live servers. Wait, I might be a genius! Except there's a problem. A big problem. Getting hundreds of top players from all around the globe to compete at the same time for a week straight and then to try to track everybody's scores would be a fucking nightmare. We needed a better solution. So I thought, why not just try making a third party ranked system that can host people's scores and organize custom lobbies all within Discord. Genius mode. I mean, hey. Two months ago, I started a New Year's resolution where I would try and learn how to code. I've seen multiple Michael Reeves videos. I know some buzzwords like Arduino and Cherry Pie. How hard could it possibly be? Oh, this is too hard. Okay, turns out two months of inconsistently learning how to code Python was not nearly enough to try and create my dream project. So that begged the question. Now, now what? what? Hey, you wanna code something for me? That's right, I hired someone else to do it for me, except in my case, I asked my friend to do it for free because I'm broke and he needed a project for his coding portfolio. So it seems we share a common interest. So we got to work. He would code the project and I would explain how the project needed to work. So I'm pretty sure it's actually really simple and not that hard, but all you have to do is just make a bot that needs to assign fake LP to hundreds of players utilizing a custom ELO algorithm that you're going to have to make because I'm really bad at math, who have their PV accounts linked to their Discord IDs and then organize custom lobbies based on ranks that's based on the fake LP system we've devised. And let's just call it BLP to keep things simple and then be able to ping those players when they're lobbies are ready and then when it declines throw those players back in a queue and keep track of all this information to aggregate a leaderboard that's updated consistently without burning up temporary memory or crashing the bot and be able to run 24 7. Can you do this by tomorrow? Now that I did my part all I had to do was wait for this guy to code the bot and we would be all set. Hey how's the uh how's the project going? Oh uh, well it's, it's not looking good. And just like that bada bing bada boom we have a discord bot that we can now use to host our project in the room. Let's call it project PBE for short. But simply put the bot works like this. The top 300 players who signed up for the tournament based on set 10 peak ranks by the way signups are still open and will remain open until March 3rd please sign up. We'll see their role in the project PBE discord promoted to the competitor role. Competitors will then have access to three different categories that are only visible to them. The first one being the Q and results category or we'll call it Q&R for short. Competitors general category and the lobbies category. Let's go over what each one of these categories are for. In the Q&R category, competitors can enter the competitor's queue. Once the queue has popped, the bot will automatically ping eight competitors in the queue pop text channel. Players will have up to 15 seconds to react to their queue with the check mark emoji in order to accept the queue. Once everybody has accepted, the bot will then ping players down in a specific lobby where the first player listed is responsible for inviting everybody and creating the custom lobby. Lobby leaders will do a ready check, and once everybody is ready, players can load into game and play as normal. Once the game has concluded, the player who went first will then go to the results text channel and confirm that the game has concluded. The bot will then aggregate scores and utilize an ELO formula that we've created specifically for this event, and players will then earn or lose points, which we'll be calling beta LP or BLP for short. Those who play second and below can feel free to dip and queue again. They do not have to wait for the lobby to end. The event will run for about a week, starting on Tuesday, March 
12th at 5 a.m. PST until Monday, March 18th at 11.59 p.m. PST. Currently, at the time of filming this video, the prize pool is at $810 USD, which is incredibly generous because I could only put in $100 because your boy's kind of broke, but a lot of people were willing to reach out and sponsor and help out. And if you'd like to help sponsor or increase the prize pool as well, please reach out workingwithkai at gmail.com. You know where to reach me. My DMs on Discord and Twitter are open, so please let me know. Please reach out. I would love to hear from you. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much. It's actually super lit that you guys are helping support the project, and uh, I can't wait to get all the shit off the ground. Now, obviously, we skipped over some minor details, but that is the general idea. Honestly, dude, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty fucked right now. I have no idea what I'm doing. Signups are still open, by the way. We've extended the deadline to March 3rd, so if you have not signed up yet already, feel free to do so. Again, we are taking the top 300 people who have signed up based off of set 10 peak rank. So you can see the details in the sign up form as well as the rule book below. But hopefully I will see you and your lovely face competing in Project PBE and get hyped for set 11 because it's going to be lit. No spoilers here. Take care guys and happy climbing. Hey, how's the project going? Uh, well, it's not looking good. <laughs> Wait, what are you guys saying? <laughs> Can you see it? Can you see it? That's how I would say. Oh, God.